welcome back to Linda's Pantry and today I'm going to bring you what you wanted. In my last video it was all about a poll and I took a poll seeing what you wanted to see next and it's overwhelmingly that you wanted to see inexpensive Christmas gift ideas and so I as some of you already know I'm a hairstylist or cosmetologist um, by day <laughs> youtuber by night anyways um, and so I give gifts uh, at Christmas time and sometimes birthdays if I know when their birthday is coming you know and you gotta I can't I can't afford to do elaborate expensive gifts so I've gotten creative over the years I'm gonna give you some of the things that I've done over the years and most of them I try to stay under five dollars so and it depends too on the person's personality and this may be your neighbor you know one of your friends that you might exchange some little gift um, but you don't want to spend a lot of money or you're going to a white elephant gift uh, exchange or um, I've had gift exchanges at church and they try to keep the limit under five dollars so anyway making a long story short I'm gonna give you some ideas of what I've done in the past and what I've got here for this year and what I'm doing. Most of my stuff is already at work for my clients based on who is already on my books. So um, a lot of them are getting homemade jams and jellies and um, uh, syrup. They can pretty much take their pick um, of what they want. And what I like to do, um, if I'm giving away a jelly, especially a sweet and spicy jelly, sometimes people don't know what to do with them. So I, I bag it up, put a little uh, crinkle paper, you know, for gift wrapping. And in the back here, I've got a uh, card that I've written out five different ideas, that recipes to use this in. Um, and it, it's usually like um, to glaze a ham and how to do it, not, you know, how to cook the ham. <laughs> but I give them five different ideas on how to use it. Then in, in this, and I don't have my note card, but it, find a little cup at the thrift store um, and put a couple Keurig coffees. If you know that they have a Keurig uh, of a flavor that you really enjoy that might be different from them, and then some uh, of your newest favorite tea. And I usually put about four tea bags, and in this cup I've got two of the Keurig um, K cups. And if you um, if you wanted to, you can make up your own coffee blend. I've done that too, and I put them in um, the bags that you get for icing, for frosting, and they're like a long cone, and put them in a tall mug, and you do your own cocoa mix, that kind of thing. In this though, minding who it's going to, I would fill out a note card and put five things that I love about them. Um, so you, you lift them up and it's a great little gift. Again, I would wrap it with these cellophane bags and I buy them in bulk. I'll put down below, I'll put a link to where you can buy those bags. They come in handy. I have a drawer that I just go and I've got the raffia wrap, you know, to tie them with and it works out great. It's very inexpensive. And I mentioned this on somebody else's video. Um, and I, I did this for all my kids one year, which I don't know if they appreciated it or not, but my daughter did end up making it several times after that. I don't know what she's doing now, but my homemade laundry soap, and there's a ton of different recipes out there for laundry soap. Use any one you like. Um, I put it in a quart jar, and I actually did these on the computer. Um, Linda's Pantry All Natural Laundry Soap how to mix this and this quart jar will make them five gallons of laundry soap on the other side of my tag is the recipe of what's in here in the amounts so if they like it they can duplicate it laundry soap and you can find um when you're I, when i gave it away i found cute little mini laundry baskets and i put some tea towels in there and this laundry soap and it was great and a little scoop find a cute little scoop at the thrift store and literally that cost me less than a dollar 75 to make the laundry soap the jar i had um and you know the tags were easy to make so there's another one and the jellies they're inexpensive. Make them, you know, make them around the holidays or during the canning season. And 
you always make a lot, so it's pretty easy to give that as a gift. Again, in a cellophane bag, I made this homemade 100% um, coconut oil soap. And I did two different fragrances. There's a sweet pea and um, I believe the other one's lavender. And cellophane bag, and that, that may have cost me 50 cents. And they're just little, um, like the size for a guest bathroom. And then another idea that I've done over the years, um, I've also done cocoa mix with the little mini um, uh, peppermint schnapps so they can have a cocktail on me. Um, I've done this throughout the year. If I go to a thrift store or a garage sale, I look for standalone pieces of um, either bowls or uh, maybe it's a, a casserole dish that I may not need, but I think that I could make it into a great gift basket or vehicle for your gift. In this instance, this is a pasta bowl or a side dish bowl. And they get to keep a really pretty bowl too. Um, a quart jar of my marinara, a pound of organic pasta, and a lot of times I'll find a small wedge of Parmesan or even the dried Parmesan. You can put a little tiny container in here if you want to get cute, but this keeps it low budget. And this card in here is a recipe on how to make French bread to go along with this. So inexpensive, clever ways, and I take this and wrap it in cellophane, big cellophane wrapper, big bow on it, and you're good to go. And they can see what it is, it's beautiful. I've also done my um, home homemade dried Alfredo sauce, and I have a video for that. If you want, I'll try to remember to link it and put a pasta and then a little mini um, colander as the vehicle for the present to be in. And those go like crazy. Everybody loves them. If I give clients or friends a choice of what they want, if it's got a cute little container that goes with it, they love it. So I hope that this helped you. <laughs> and I hope that um, you, throughout the year, maybe think a little bit on the side of, wow, when it comes time for the holidays, I'm gonna need a few little inexpensive gifts. And pick them up, then put them, I have a box that's dedicated to this kind of stuff. And if I get a new idea, I write it down and I put that in the box as well. So I don't end up with, um, at the last minute, not knowing what I'm gonna do. I've also made Christmas ornaments. I've made scarves. Another thing that I did one year is I got the dollar gloves, the gloves, the little knitted gloves that you get. You can get them at Walmart for a dollar. Get a pair of gloves. And with a um, very small needle for like crochet thread, you can get the fancy thin crochet um, or the yarns and put a fancy cuff on them and give those away. And everyone loves them. And it, it cost you pennies to do, a little bit of time. Um, and I did scarves one year too. Those are a little bit more expensive, but if you get your yarn when it's on sale, you can save a lot of money. Or pick it up at a garage sale, because I just got rid of a ton of yarn last year at my garage sale. All right, so I hope this helps. And if you guys have any other ideas, down below in the about section, comment section, I should say, Go ahead and leave your ideas for everybody else to be able to look at because there may be something that we hadn't thought of and I'm always up for new ideas. Oh, one more. Um, quite often I will make um, uh, the, the bark, holiday bark, um, and there's tons of recipes for that. And I'll put them in a bag like this and you know, just four or five pieces of that and they're happy or fudge. They're, and everyone loves a little sweet treat, so um, don't forget about those. But this year it's pretty much jellies and jams and that kind of thing. And then a, a couple of these for people that I really know will enjoy it and uh, appreciate it. You can also do um, a pie. You can do a, can, a jar of your homemade pie filling, one of those mini pie plates and um, in a container or in a bag, you can make up your pie dough dry mix and all they have to do is add water. So 
there's tons of things to do. And, or you can buy the pie dough that's already made in the refrigerator section if you wanted to do that. But there's all kinds of ways to uh, help somebody feel better and a little more special around the holidays. All right, guys, I hope it helped. And I'm going to go now, I promise. <laughs> but go down in the About section, check the links that I've left for you, say hi to everybody, and share your ideas. All right. Oh, and don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe because I have some really good recipes coming up. And oh, and canning. Oh my gosh, we've got canning to do too. So I don't know how I'm going to fit it in, but we're going to try. All right. Bye.